everyone it's Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making this delightful daisy chain so today I am going to show you how to do the flower and then in the next video I will show you how to do the chain and to put the flower and the leaves on the chain so you will need a yellow a white and a green uh, these were just colors I had in my stock so this is drops love you seven None, none of these are the same, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Um, so Drops Love You 7, it's a four ply. This is Stylecraft white cotton, 100% cotton. That's a four ply. And this one is also Stylecraft Classique. It's the green one that I wanted. Um, and this is uh, DK, so double knitting. So it doesn't matter uh, because um, this is for the chain, so I thought it would it wouldn't matter uh, for that to be a different thickness so I use for this one I use a three but then I'll show you that in the next video and here we are now going to make the daisy so I'm using a two and a half for that okay can you see that can you see that it says two and a half no idea <laughs> okay let's get started so we're going to make the center of the flower first of all so let's do a slip knot and chain four one two i hold on to that first one three four because sometimes you might lose it if you pull it a little bit too hard go back into that first one and do a slip stitch she says it's easier said than done always to create a circle there we go okay now we're going to work in the circle and we are going to do a chain to work our way up and then into the circle that is a circle we are going to do 12 single crochets just so that we have a nice middle for our flower now when I say do 12 single crochets I mean you have to end up with 12 V's and generally that means you have to do 11 double crochet uh, single crochets sorry single crochets so to create those 11 V's and then the 12th V is created by doing the slip stitch across the first V that you've created so I am NOT counting at the moment I'm just talking so let me just see where I'm at now so as you can see you need to sort of scoot them over a little bit which I did earlier as well so let's just start counting one two three four five six seven eight so that's four more to go eight nine 10, 11. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Vs. And I need to have 12 Vs, but I'm not going to put an extra stitch in because that means I'm making an extra V on top of my slip stitch. So it's time to slip stitch into this one here, that first V and there we go now I have 12 V's and I'm going to use every single one of them so let's cut off the cotton there we go right so what am I doing here go under the V pull up your cotton I've just chosen a V two steps back from where I stopped just now and attach it with a slip stitch so just pull through there we go so that's attached and now we are going to do uh, six chains one two three four five six now the sixth one is your turning chain and from number five, you are going to do a half double crochet into each stitch, working your way back 
to the center. So we've done six chains. The sixth one was our turning chain. The five ones we now do a half double crochet in. If this yarn would like to cooperate, that would be great. Thank you very much. Okay. And I'm nearly there. See? One, two, three, four. And the fifth one here. She says, in there, come on. Yeah, so it's not cooperating. <laughs> oh dear, why should it, eh? Okay. I've picked up two Vs there. Yeah, okay. So that's our five stitches. And then we are going to go into the next stitch. This looks a little bit difficult, uh, funny now, because it's come undone a little bit, that first um joining stitch and then you do a slip stitch into the next stitch so let me just pull this close there we go so that's our first petal made so we are now into the next stitch so we do one two three four five six chains we work our way back from the second chain on your hook with half double crochet so that is five half double crochets that you need to do to work your way back to the center and I try to sort of hold on to it with <laughs> too many fingers oh dear it's a little bit fiddly why can I not put my hook in that there and in the first one here yeah and then we slip stitch into the next stitch to anchor that petal but also to start the next one okay and this is how you're going to go round and I will meet you at the end here Okay, so I've now come to the end of my last petal and if I have to slip stitch it into the next petal or the next stitch like I, you know, that means this time going under that um, first one there. So just doing the same thing as before, but it means you have to slip stitch under that first petal that we did. And that is the end of your flower. So... I really like it's so simple but I really really like this flower and I thought what better way to turn it into a daisy chain to put around the room or something or around the bed or whatever so yeah so that's the flower and I will show you in the next video how to attach it to the chain